there is a capacity in each and every person given by God. If that capacity is used by devil, but a destruction. Third week in ordinary time, 25th of January, Tuesday reflection. Feast of conversion of St. Paul the Apostle. My dear friends, everyone has a capacity. God has designed each and every one with a capacity, with a purpose, with that capacity. And what happened when that capacity is used by devil? It's completely out of, he goes and he or she will go out of track. As St. Paul, as Saul went to Damascus with his own plan. See how devil was active in his life. In these guys, these guys with the religious frame, religious framework, religious idea, religious interpretations. Now exactly they thought, he thought that he is favoring God by persecuting, persecuting Christians. So it's a spiritual blindness, complete spiritual blindness. And see, St. Paul, Saul, of course he's a, he's a Pharisee. And he's one of the, one of the studious students of Gamaliel. I mean, he's the most studious, most talented student. And he knew his Greek well properly. And he's a thinker. So see the capacity of this person. And that capacity is used by devil. And so it's, he, he destroyed the whole church persecuted it and he planned it planned it well and the, the, the first reading we find Saul still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus so that if he found any belonging to the way to the way men or women he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. And now he, as he went on his way, my dear friends, the Christians were interpreters, interpreted as the found, found any belonging to the way. It's a way of life. Way of life. Christianity is a way of life. Our Paul is going the other way. But then see how God intervened, how God, how God used him to break him and he became Paul, Saul became Paul with a fall. What happened? And when he was going to Damascus, a light blinded him. It's a, it's a paradox, it's a contradiction. How can a light blind you? With light you will see, but then light, with the light of God, he's, he's blinded. Now he's blind. My dear friends, just imagine what happened. Why God intervened without his consent? It's the power of the innocent blood. When, if you read seventh chapter in Acts of the Apostles, when they were stoning Stephen, St. Paul was there as Saul. They all kept their tunics, garments, vestments at the feet of Paul. And then when, when Stephen prayed, he prayed for all the persecutors, isn't it? And that prayer was answered. The power of the innocent blood. How Jesus, how God changed this person, the person topsy-turvy completely. It's a paradigm change. He was, he fell from the horseback and he was blind. My dear friends, when he was made empty, all what filled that vessel, that, that capacity, completely he had to put everything, flush everything off. And he was, he was, he was 
blind for three days. And the Lord appointed Ananias. Let's, Lord said to him, Ananias, Lord, go for his chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. My dear friends, see, he was put to put to shame, put to dust. He fell on the dust ground as man was created with the dust. And he was, he was done to dust, completely, completely broken. And the Lord said, go, he, Lord said, rise and go to the street called straight and the house of Judas, Judas, look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. For behold, behold, he is praying. And he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hand on him so that he might reign, regain his sight. And how he was broken. Paul was, Saul was broken and was blind and was helpless. So he saw the vision. Now he sees vision in his blindness. I mean, what he saw is now shut up. Now he sees something different, completely different. And God, the Lord baptized him. Behold, brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road by which you came, has sent me so that you may re regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell off from his eyes and he regained his sight. And then he rose and was baptized and taking food, he was strengthened. For some days he was with the disciples at Damascus. And immediately he proclaimed Jesus in synagogue, saying, He is the Son of God. And all had who heard him were amazed and said, Is not this the man who made havoc in Jerusalem of those who called upon his name? My dear friends, how he completely he was converted. And that capacity was used by God. We are all born with that capacity, my dear friends. That's why the second reading of the gospel beautifully says, go into the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation. And, and though these signs will accompany those who believe, in my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, and they will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. And they will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. It's a different life. The moment you allow the Lord to fill your capacity, it's a different life. There are instances where, where people, people took a cloth and touched Paul. And then they took that cloth to the sick people and they were healed with that little touch. That was, that, that's what happened when that capacity properly used by God. So it's important that if you are a sinner, if you are a terrible sinner, if you are, if you are very weak in one area that you cannot overcome, it shows there is a capacity for glory, capacity for grace. Still you have not allowed that capacity to be used by God. So for that you have to break yourself, fall, eat, eat the dust. And you, you empty yourself, allow the Lord to come. Then only you will be filled completely. Allow that, allow that trauma, tragedy in your life. Begin to love your zero and God can take over beautifully to the intention he had made you. Amen. May God bless you.